Marcus Conti reporting. Hi. Where am I today? Black Friday. Cheers. So, looking for some uh, shopping madness. <laughs> a little window shopping. It's a good, it's a good hat. I don't know if you can see it, but it says, "Make red hats wearable again." <laughs> it's a good spin, right? So I'm here in Manhattan. It's walking down Broadway. This is uh, the east. Uh, I guess it's the center of Manhattan. It goes from broad. Broadway goes all the way from Wall Street, the Bull, all the way up to fucking. Central Park, and then on the other side it continues. But anyway, it used to be a very heavy uh, shopping area. I don't have much else today. I just just walking and talking. I was going to interview people, but I'm kind of feeling a little, uh, eh, a little isolated. You know what I think? I think this, this is what I think. I'll tell you what I think. On a day like this, right? Where you're supposed to go out and spend. You're supposed, to, you're supposed to go out and outspend the other. Spend. Fill the void with stuff. <laughs> right? That's what Mr. Macy said. Buy some stuff. That's not what I see in the city anymore, you know? Been here a long time, you know? I try not to knock anybody over. We're getting knocked over. I think the message in this season, right, as we now head into Christmas, it gets crazy, you know, there's so much. We're living in a time now where people are so divided. Friends, old friends don't talk anymore. Family members don't talk to each other. Forget about the wars online. That's another story. <laughs> but we're living in a time, of, you know, it seems like there's walls around everybody, and it seems to heat up. You know, fake news getting pounded with fake news. You suck. You don't have a. You don't have the new Lexus and the new sneakers. Uh, you, you suck. You're poor. <laughs> Your life sucks. You better go buy some stuff. <laughs> Get off your ass and go buy some stuff. Mm. Ah. So, we got some shopping on the other side of the street, I guess. Best Buy. You can get the Best Buy. You want to go buy some Best? I don't know. I don't have anything to buy. If I need sneakers, I buy them online. If I need a hat, Five dollars on the street. Keep your life simple. You know, that's what I think. That's all I wanted to say. I don't want to make this too long of a video, but because it's really not about anything other than uh, people's own well-being. And um, I, I think also I, I need at some point to uh, thank the crowd. Um, thank you. Thank you for allowing me to do what I do and bring you the news on a daily basis with my own unique perspective. Right? Sometimes the comments are difficult because, you know, hey, look, it's... People want to... Somebody sent me an email today, and I thank you for that email. They said, people hate you because they want to be you. There's some truth to that, and I don't, I don't let that inflate my head. Right? You want to be popular and you want to you want to get your message out. Be careful what you wish for. <laughs> That's my message to you know anybody trying to strive for attention or fame or whatever that is. Strive for truth. Strive for truth. So thank you. Now move away from being mushy. Go <laughs> back. Go back to being tough Conti. I'll break your fucking balls, you motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Now, you know what I'm saying, right? In this time of Christ Mass, right? Christmas, the Christmas season, they didn't even get past 
They didn't even take the turkey out of the window. And then Santa Claus is up. <laughs> it's getting crowded on the street. I, wanted to, I, I was gonna ask people with the most shopping bags, was it worth it? Do you feel fulfilled? <laughs> Does that bag fill the hole? The void. The proverbial void, the, 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 the bottomless pit, the itch that you can't scratch. That's desire. Right? Shiny objects will fill that void for a minute. Buy the new, the new toy. But you have a toy. Well, I want a new toy. Ah, the new phone, the new, the new hairdo. <laughs> I'm gonna do a hair a hair video. I'm gonna do one. I'll do one. Do a hair video. I just I only get my my ends cut every once in a while, you know. I don't. I haven't. I don't cut length. I haven't cut the length of my hair in years. Literally, five years, four years, five years. Right after that cop job. Right after I had the job as a cop. I I I never. I refused to grow my hair. Cut my hair again. Just the ends because it it allows the. Um, when you cut the ends, the split ends fall off and it, your hair is healthier. That's what they tell me. Right? Uh, out among the people. Say hello, people. Hello, people. Hello, officer. Always feel safe when the police are around. Recycle. Did my job. I used to do that job. Give you a ticket if you put it in the wrong. <laughs> you still put your put your bottle in the wrong one. Let's go look at some art. Fuck this shopping shit. Ah, uh, so we're on Prince Street here. Uh, what's called Soho. The Soho section of New York City. Be nice to each other, you know? Kindness, random acts of kindness. Don't be kind and say, say, hey, you know what? I was kind to you, now give me something. Put this guy's auto. That's some nice stuff, man. Beautiful. What's up? What's up, man? What's up? What's your name, man? What's your name, man? Camelio. Is this your work? Uh, it's awesome, man. So you take um, you take uh, subway maps, subway maps, and twist them up. It's awesome, man. Really good stuff, man. Thank you. Thank you. What's your name? One more time. Camelio. Camelio. You're easy. Marty Cole. Camelio. Marty Cole. He's the Marty He's the Marty you know what Maricom is in Spanish? I'll tell you in a second. <laughs> Thank you, man. That's awesome. <laughs> Maricom. Maricom's a faggot. <laughs> it's good stuff right here. Don't be afraid of people on the street, man. They're, they're your friends. Gotta love street art, man. You never know where you're gonna find it. It's beautiful. Real expression, you know? Expressive. Be kind to everybody. Do random acts of kindness. You know what that is? Instead of kicking the, kicking a bum in his eyeball, right? Instead of booting a bum when you walk by, kick him. Fuck you, I'm better than you. Give him five dollars and don't tell anybody about it. Don't tell anybody. That's that's the secret. Do the act of kindness because it's the right thing to do. No other reason. Oh look, a protest. Oh, I wasn't expecting this. Let's go check it out. Excuse me. 
There's people hooting and hollering over there. I don't know what they're yelling about. Ooh, signs, police. Uh, maybe it's a boring union fight here. It's another day in New York, you know. Ah, uh, Furs Murder. These are my people. These are my people right here. Furs murder. Furs murder, it sure is. I think I see a sign. Beautiful. What does it say? Hi. Hi. My mic is over here, so yell. So we why we love one but wear the other. Or eat the other. How about that one? You're asking me. So yeah, why yes. do we love one and eat the other? I don't know. Yeah. It's a hypocrisy because we've been brainwashed our whole lives to think that this is normal. Nobody really stops to think about or even know sometimes what happens to the animal. They just see a fur coat. They yeah. see other people wearing it. Yeah. And to them, it's like totally normalized. Normalized violence. Yeah. But you agree also with the eating part of it? You don't you don't eat animals. So I don't eat animals, you know, absolutely vegetarian. not. Vegetarian. Good for you. Me too. About yeah. twelve years, fifteen years. All time. Thank you. Thank you for your welcome. time. Appreciate it. Hey guys. How are you? What's going on here today? Can you tell me about the rally? I got a mic right here, so just yell. Huh? What's going on here today? Yeah, are you walking with the crowd? Yeah. yeah tell me about protest. it. Yeah, we're just protesting a lot of first. Let people know first, first, uh, it's violence. Yeah, we want people to realize that it's wrong to wear. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yes. Appreciate it. What does the sign say? Let me see. Well, people say, oh, you know, but we, we live in the uh, we live in the sticks. We have to hunt and uh, kill. We can't grow food. It's uh, it's too too much. It's easy to pull a gun out and shoot the animal. Yeah, I mean none of that's uh, factual, justified, and you know we don't live in an era where um, it's not possible, where it's possible, or it's not possible to um, have anything made like synthetic right. that can keep you warm, and it keeps you much warmer than real yeah, uh, yeah. animal. Uh, yeah, skin and I'm embarrassed to say that my boots might be leather, and I, you know, I've been a veg vegan for years and years. Mm -hmm. But uh, in a moment of, you know, in that moment of kind of uh, stupor, you just say, "Give me the damn shoes," you know, and I, I, I feel shameful right now even saying that. Uh, Thank you. Right. You're welcome. Thank you, man. Thank you. Peace. Thank you for coming. So that's what that makes ah. Excuse me. Animal activists, man. Stand for something. God damn it. I can't talk about that shit. It chokes me up. You know? Yesterday was Thanksgiving. 43 million turkeys. Estimated 43 million turkeys died. For what? For what? It's not necessary, man. It's just... You can live a, you live healthier and, and more vibrant and, and less violent and less uh, less aggression in the world, more kindness by being a vegetarian or vegan. So obvious, right? I didn't mean to drag you down like that. I, I'm not again. I went through a period of being a, ve a vegetarian where I would holler my point. Fist raging. See, they're not, they're not doing that. That's good. You know, fist raging fists of anger. How dare you murder the cow and the pig and the chicken? People are asleep. That's the point, right? People are... This is, there's an expression in Buddhism. It's called unconscious humans. They're walking around unconscious. They're not even... A, a lot of people... It's interesting too, the truth community thinks they're awake. They say, well, we're awake. 
we've awakened to the to what? To the fact that politics are corrupt? <laughs> That's only the surface. Awake to the fact that humans are, are flawed by nature. We're trained. Trained. I think we're not we're probably not flawed the, you know in the beginning, the baby is pure. And then it evolves into into this, Black Friday. Give me some stuff. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Music strike coming up. Get away from the music. So back down here on um, Prince Street, have a look. Well, yeah, much more. All right, so 15 minutes of your life you can't get by. You had a tour of Black Friday. Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> it's not worth getting the best price on something. Don't step over people. Huh? Huh? You have a better day. Like I want, I'm not going to buy anything. I bought a water and it was two fifty. That's two two dollars and fifty cents too much. I love the cobblestone roads down here. It's, uh, where are we? Crosby Street. Uh, we're on Green Street. You could Google it in front of the Apple Store on Green Street and uh, Green and Prince. I'm not going to go inside any stores. I, I don't like doing that. Do your, do your homework. Your homework is one random act of kindness, even if it's not a dollar amount. Just be kind to somebody. Be kind to somebody and don't ask for it. Don't, 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 expect, don't expect anything for it. That's true kindness. Marcus Conti reporting.